There we go, some very, very rough flourishes. <laughs> in the evening now and today was spent mainly at the Upper Lock Cafe doing um, their main menu board. It took me pretty much all day just to draft, out, measure out and draft out the layout so I've not made as much progress with that as I was hoping to or with all the boards to be honest I've still got several more to do. One I've brought home with me just so I can hopefully make a bit more progress with those. Quite tired I can probably tell and um, I've just got so much to do for right now, sort of in this moment where I'm pleased that I've got a lot of stuff going on, but I'm having a, a silent freak out that there's a lot of stuff to do and I don't actually know if I'm going to get it all done in time. I'm going to be going away for just under a week from Friday and I've got, so I've basically got tomorrow to tr and this evening to try and do everything. I'm trying to take it all in my stride, trying to figure out what, what I actually need to do. I think just make a list and crack on with it. I'm gonna do what I can, really. But yeah, I'm feeling a little, a little stressed and anxious at the minute, but I guess the, the first thing to probably do is to actually get on with it rather than sort of sit here, sit here talking. So well, I'll do that. It's about coming up to three in the morning now. Um, I've since managed to get this board done, so that's one big thing out of the way. Um, as you can see, it's uh, multilingual, so there's quite a, a lot of checking on Google Translate and double checking, triple checking spelling and stuff. So that's one thing ticked off the list. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm obviously needing to sleep, so I'm gonna go to bed. trying to do here is mock up a design for the event tonight. So I've got a big chalkboard, it's a 900mm by 1940mm, so it's quite big. Um, I'm going to need a step, <laughs> but um, I'm aware I need to be careful because I've only got um, probably realistically a couple of hours to be working on it if I'm going to be, you know, there's going to be other stuff going on and I want to also, you know, actually talk to people and mingle and network a little bit as well. I imagine there's some stuff I'd, I'd like to have a look around. I need to be conscious that I don't get carried away with the design, but I've got... It's quite big, so if I kind of keep... And I'm going to be using actual chalks, not pens, so that'll help me work a little bit quicker. But I think I'm just trying to, trying to come up with a design that hopefully I can do in, in the time allocated. So what I'm doing is kind of folks getting a lot of letters in, so Word Rock is nice because the company that's organising this is Rock the Cotswolds and they also gave me a nomination. I'm also thinking it would be quite nice to have something that says Cotswolds on it for my portfolio. So this is quite a fun thing to do. In terms of the layout, what I want to do is showcase some nice fancy lettering. So the word Rock's good for that. It's got, I'm going to use like a black letter effect for the art and a slightly more decorative uh, K with flourishes, like the kind of thing you get on circus texts. Then so I want to, let's add a flourish, <laughs> so you get the idea. There we go, some very, very rough flourishes. And then the C and the O work nicely together because they're much simpler and they're also similar shapes. So the R and the K are going to be quite a bit taller and narrower, whereas the O and C, and they'll both be decorative and the O 
C will be a bit cleaner and simpler and they also reflect the shades quite nicely so that's going to be hopefully quite a nice balanced stand up piece uh, bit at the top and the word rocks they're uh, quite cool and we'll get a little little banner in there for the the um, what I want to try and do is like fill up as much of the space as possible with fairly quick flourishes so actually that's quite useful because it'll make the piece look more done because there's like a lot more going on but this sort of stuff the flourishes are relatively quick to do so it's kind of a nice way of filling up the space making it look a little bit more I guess fancier than, than it is so and then we're going to get cots of so how many letters is that? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's nine letters, which means the uh, fifth letter will be in the middle. One, two, four, five. So the letter W you want in the middle. So let's make a let's kind of roughly pop in there. And I'm just trying to, in terms of letters, that do as much of this in advance as possible. So I've got a good a visual feel of where I want everything to look so I can actually work on it much quicker once I'm there. It's gonna I'll bring the S curve for the S down to kind of reflect the curve the C so that's nicely balanced there. And let's pick C we'll make sure that the top bits here as well. So we don't want it to look like a G probably better last time because the C is bigger actually so I need to push that across so, so that makes a nice shape there and what I'm going to do is just for a little bit more of an illustrative element I'm going to put a, a very simplified hair head because the hair is the symbol of Siren Sister which is the town or not a symbol it's kind of an adopted symbol I think of the town and there's a lot of you see a lot of hair imagery in the Cotswolds so I think something's associated with this so a very simple hair head in there, give it kind of a wild natural theme, also it helps fill the space. So let's get some some more flourishes. I think what we'll do is turn those, I'm going to turn those into leaves. So we're going to get Cotswold as kind of a consistent area of natural beauty so we'll kind of look at, make it look quite natural and go for a bit of a, a wildlife theme. So <laughs> And you know, I'll probably wing it a bit in terms of the actual filler decorations, but that's the, the general layout that I want. And I'll get some. What I'll probably do is print out a couple of references for the main letters, and this one is just a bit easy brush grip, so I can do that from memory quite easily. The difference in line thickness it'll be easier to achieve with a piece of normal chalk because I can flatten the edge down, so it'll give you a good. A good writing tool to achieve that. Okay, so I think that's kind of done. Mm -hmm.